One rule that we have when we're on top, it's to always stay square with our partner and never allow our elbow to go across the center line. So by knowing that and understanding the game on top, I'm going to try to do the opposite on the bottom. I'm forcing my opponent to cross his elbow across the center line. So every time I'm able to accomplish that, I'm going to have submission opportunities and I'm going to have the chance to take my opponents back. This is also very good like to combine with all the other details that we've worked. So you are now breaking the posture, you're trying to make your opponent post the hands on the mat, you're using your knee to break, uh, to control the arm and break the grip and you're also pulling the elbow across the center line. So there's a lot of details that you're using that it's making your opponent feel uncomfortable and it's giving you a lot of possibilities to attack from near distance close guard. So basically like whenever we are playing guard, what I want and my opponent doesn't want, like he's trying to avoid that from happening uh, when he's on top, is his arm getting across the center line like this. So if his arm is going across my body, now he's exposing his back and he will be off balance and I start moving him, if I start moving him. So I'm gonna use a grip on this leaf, a cross grip on this leaf and the grip on the elbow. I'm gonna break his grip and pull his hand. Whenever I do this move, normally I try to keep the grip on this leaf really strong so I have a grip on this leaf, a grip on the elbow, I break his grip, and now I use this grip on this leaf to push his hand into the pocket. Normally what happens from here is that the person's trying to posture up, trying to posture up, John. So I need to keep like pulling him down and using my legs. So now I'm using the other concept, the first one that we learned. Every time he tries to posture up, I use my legs to bring him down and I climb up again. So I'm breaking his posture from this position. Option number one, Whenever I do that, would be to start sweeping him to this side since he cannot post his hands on the mat. So if I start hugging now and I use my legs, I can sweep hands to the side. So I do the move. I can initiate the sweep. He's defending the sweep. I keep moving my hip around and he's exposing his back now. Again, I initiate the move, I break the posture, I start the sweep, he's defending the sweep. I start going to the back, I feel I'm having a hard time to attack the back. I overhook his arm and I start the transition to the arm bar. So I commit to attack the shoulder now. Whenever I go, I get to this position where I'm belly down and I get really close to the arm. I finish the rotation. Attacking his arm. So the most important for us to understand is that every time, it doesn't matter what grips you use, normally I use the grip on the sleeve and the elbow, but like you can find multiple different ways. You can use an arm drag grip, you can use two grips on the sleeve, but the most important detail and the technique that we're working now, it's going with the hand across your body. Because now your opponent is in a bad angle. He's gonna be off balance if you want, if you start moving. And he will give you the back because like he's not able to use the arms to defend the sweep.